So I did this uh, series of, uh, this residency at the Marquee Club, which was, I think it was 82, 1982, 81, 82. By that stage, I'd released uh, a single and an album on, on 4AD, and also a single on Some Bizarre, and I'd recently signed to uh, CBS. And uh, I think I was just about to release the first or the second single on CBS, I can't remember now, but I decided to put together um, two supergroups for this marquee residency, um, underground supergroups, so some of my favourite people and friends. So I had um, J.G. Thurwell, Fetus, played, I had Thomas, Kid Montana from Belgium, Mark Armand, Zeke Manjika from Orange Juice. We had Mal from Cabaret Voltaire, Simon Fisher Turner, Colin Lloyd Tucker, Peter Ashworth, who was my drummer at the time. Um, I think Edwin Collins may have stood in as well, actually. And I divided the groups up into uh, aggressive and mellow, I believe, initially, you know, for large parts of the set. And so I think, obviously, Fetus was in the aggressive one. We literally even had a kitchen sink on stage. So it was a, and we had, you know, uh, just guitars that were all tuned to E, probably, cranked up, tape loops running. I think Thomas was in the mellow band, along with Simon Fisher-Turner, Kid Montana, possibly. And then at the end, we all came on stage together. The shows went very well, you know, packed every week, a great, uh, a great uh, atmosphere. Oh, except on the very last show, we, we would do this, this um, performance at the, at the end of every show where I think, we, I'm not sure if we put on balaclavas, we're all dressed in black, may have, been, may have worn balaclavas. Nine or ten of us playing guitar in a row at the front, hammering away, and we would do that after every every show, but on the last show, some idiots in the audience started to throw glasses at us and stuff, and this, a big fight ensued between us and the, um, we started fighting with the wrong people, because we, it transpired that the, it was people at the back of the audience throwing, but the lights were in their face, so we couldn't see, so we started punching and kicking, but everyone ran off, and there was only two people left fighting beside me in the audience. People are often surprised to find out who they were. Well, they're not surprised about the first one. It's Jim Thurwell was there. The second one was Mark Armand. Ferocious. Tom ran off <laughs> with the rest of them. And Mark, uh, very impressive, he took his guitar off. was like sw swinging it. And it was awful, really, because backstage afterwards, a guy came back, like blood pouring from his head. And Mark was so apologetic because he had a, he had a terrible temper and was like profusely uh, apologetic. But that was a lingering memory, and it was a shame, really, because we had a fight with the wrong, the wrong people. And then we found out there were some idiots at the back. But it was very dramatic, those shows, and it was great fun.